Hello everyone, it's great to have your company here on Calkind TV. I'm Rachel and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. Today we'll be looking at two fast-growing ASX tech shares which should be considered for January. There are not many stocks on the ASX that have witnessed strong growth despite the ongoing challenges posed by COVID-19. The restrictions induced in the wake of the pandemic have curtailed the revenues of many sectors. However, the digital segment has managed to deliver decent returns to shareholders with tech stocks achieving strong revenue growth in the past few months. According to experts, these businesses may end up becoming much larger if things stabilize steadily over time. So on that note, let us look at two ASX-listed tech <coughs> shares, which could be worth looking at in January. First up, SETI Air is an e-commerce business that sells a wide range of luxury personal goods. It has more than 200,000 products with clothing, shoes, bags and accessories from around 1,700 luxury brands. It describes itself as a global retailer. In the last year, SETI Air's stock's return stands at over 468%. The stock has given a negative year-to-date return of almost 12%, and the company has witnessed strong growth in the last few months on account of more customers moving to online shopping amid COVID-19 and growth also in the e-commerce market. The sales revenue of SETI Air surged by 172% year-on-year in the first four months of financial year 2022 to the 31st of October 2021. The orders rose by 209% and active customers soared by 220%. The company is also looking forward to boosting its total addressable market by including a children's wear segment. A key objective in pursuing its IPO was to unlock new and incremental growth opportunities. Their number one priority is to maximize the global revenue potential of the company by taking a long-term view. SETI Air will continue to invest in opportunities aligned to their strategy with a near-term focus on customer acquisition, technology enhancements and building organizational capability. Next stock to look at is called Doctor Care Anywhere. Now they offer a technology platform and a team of clinicians engaged in providing virtual GP consultations, diagnostic referrals and specialist previews across critical clinical specialties. In the last year, the stock's return has dropped 60%. The stock has given a negative year-to-date return of over 8%. Doctor Care Anywhere reported a quarter-on-quarter -quarter revenue growth of 21.6% in the three months to September 2021. The revenue growth was boosted by 30.6% growth on consultations. The company also acquired telehealth and telemental provider GP2U Telehealth, giving itself a geographic earnings diversification and another avenue for growth. Excluding the impact of that acquisition, Dr. Care Anywhere expects financial year 2021 revenue to grow by at least 100%. Recently, this telehealth company introduced a new operating model, moving from the single option of a 20-minute virtual consultation with a doctor to multiple options for treatment advice. With COVID-19 spearheading the uptake of remote appointments, the Federal Health Department last month announced a $308.6 million injection into the primary care health system. This includes a $106 million portion for permanent telehealth for Australians. The announcement is well-timed for Dr Care Anywhere with its new model, including options such as shorter appointments, meeting with a nurse or completing a quick consult survey to be reviewed and returned with written advice or a prescription. Well, that's all from me for now. We'll be back soon with our Buzzing Trends show to share the latest market insights with you. Till then, stay tuned with Kalkine TV for more stock, business and economy-related hot trends. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.